Hey everyone, it's been a while. You know, I've been having some issues with recording and uh, doing it from my phone and everything was just so much of a hassle that I petered out at the uh, end of the last season and decided I'd start fresh with season 7. And guess what? We're here. We're in season 7 right now. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the graphics are a little bit cleaner now, aren't they? That's right. I finally went and got myself a, a good little gaming rig and I think that's going to make my recording process that much easier. And where we're standing right now is the uh, Tranquility Guild Nether Hub. I've been working on this for my guild mates and myself. There's five of us, so we've got many portals going around. These are our personal portals right here in this main chamber, but we have plenty of uh, farms with offshoots and everything. We have a, a raid farm over here, and uh, Wolf has his guardian farm down that direction. It, yeah, that's right. We, we've got raid farms, guardian farms. We, we've got farms of all sorts, crazy wonder. And I'm going to show you a couple of them right now. Now, while we're going through this portal, I'll, I'll ask you, how long do you think we've been in the season? I don't know if you've been following any of the other Guild Rock members, but we've actually only been in the season for about two weeks now. Actually. To the day, it's been two weeks at 7.30 tonight, Eastern Standard Time. So in just under two weeks, we have accomplished a whole lot as a server. Well, that's actually a good thing to show you. First thing is we got full Nethrite already. Wolf had us full Nethrite in the first, I think, three or four days. And then, So this right here is my tower. We're going with a solar punk theme this season, and I want to try and do a few different levels of development. So this is kind of my archaic solar punk vibe. I haven't really decorated yet because, well, I've been so focused with farms. Like, I've got a nether stem farm going for the guild already. I'm working on this behemoth right here. This is a Eladrium's bone meal farm. And he boasts 9100 bone meal per hour. And with this nether stem farm right here, it uses around a shulker every 10 minutes if I'm going AFK. So all we have to do if we ever want nether stems, and you don't even have to stand there and fill this thing with mushrooms. It will just, oh, see, there it goes. It's jumping. It'll just keep popping out cube after cube, and then we'll just harvest it all up. When it hits this little stop over here, it'll stop the whole machine so it doesn't break itself. And if we wanted to, we can swap this lever over here, and we can actually place the stems, or the, the crimson fungus, ourselves if we want. But let's go and see what Wolf's up to. He's got an iron farm going right now. He's got some malaise to collect his stuff, make it easy when he's down there blasting away with uh, wither mining. Hear that iron farm already pumping off. He's got himself a nice little base down here. I'm not going to really show you his stuff. I'd, I'd ask that you go and check out his video, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. I'm out of rockets. We are new enough into the season where we don't have a gunpowder farm yet. That I, we're almost there. Akata Wolf is putting together his ghast farm right now. And he's going for a Sim 5 ghast farm. So this thing is going to be brutal. It should pop out. I don't know. He's getting, a, I think, two shulkers an hour last time. And he was only doing three ghasts. I don't know how many he has in there this time, but it looks like maybe around 12. So that should be a good ticket to some TNT for blasting these things apart and also some good rockets. Actually, before we head over to SD, I kind of want to show you a little bit closer detail what I've been working on here. So this is actually going to turn into nice vaulted arches. And we're going to have larger domes in a couple of different spots. And this is what I've got worked out for the floor pattern so far. Trying to integrate some of the newer blocks. I'm going to start working on some uh, cherry pillars in here as well at some point. And uh, i got to just get the universal tree farm together first. A little froggo for the magma cubes. Poops out some frog lights every once in a while. Chickens! So, here's our SD so far. We've got the uh, main roads marked out so nobody can build in between the stem the town hall. Because we're going to eventually do a contest to see who can build the best town hall. 
What is this? Wait, oh, and we got rockets. <gasps> Somebody's got rockets. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you you're about to see how much how many diamonds your boy has. That's right. Bam! Loaded. <laughs> no, we've been doing pretty good. We had some of the uh, earliest shops. And, uh, what, two stacks per diamond? Uh, okay. Uh, we had some of the earliest shops in the shopping district. And, like I said, Wolf has been uh, doing some amazing wither mining. Just pulling up loads and loads of diamonds. I'll throw those in there. Pop that back in there. But now that we got rockets again, let's go ahead and take a look at what's over here. Whose is this? Oh, see, I haven't used any of the hanging signs yet. I keep forgetting that they exist, honestly. Glowstone. One diamond for 32. Whose is this? Welcome to Winged Wares. I like it, guys. This is a beautiful plane. Uh, biplane, if memory serves correctly. Yeah, stellar job. Hakon's Concrete Shop. Lockley was here. Apparently, Lockley was here. Lockley is everywhere. Wait, wait. He hit it in the back of his sign. Nice. But Hakon, that's that's cobble. That that's cobble, bud. That's that's not concrete. Pretty sure. Yep. Yep, that's cobble. <laughs> just, just messing with you. Oh, we got a skulk shop already. Oh, I like that they added one of the uh what would you call it? Maybe a dais or like a a room. Probably just a, a broken room in the ancient city. Two diamond blocks, enchanted apple. Ho. Who are you who are you calling a hoe? No swift sneak? I want the swift snake. Give me the swift sneak. Believe Red Slime made this. This was like, I think, the first shop, official shop in the shopping district beyond just pop up shops with shulkers. Order books, read instructions, put your armor into a column and chest. Enter what kind of trim material you want, followed by the armor trim. So he just does a custom custom orders and you gotta wait. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And then over on this side, I haven't even shown you. We have Wellingtons by Rocket. Rocket Bug. And this is my shop in the works. I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I'm going for a kind of wood um uh, going for a wood mill sorts. I want it to be solar pumpkin theme. The cherry tree is just kind of to block the view so nobody's really getting it in their shots till it's done. Uh, it was also the placeholder while I had just the pop-up logs and leaves. I uh, don't have any sales right now, interesting enough. People probably want that cherry. Get some bamboo back in there too. Uh, yeah, so that's the shop. Looks like CL has their own shop right now. What's this? Guild shop selling gunpowder and string. It's kind of dark in here, guys. How much? Oh, I don't have my HUD on. One diamond stack. Oh, Jesus. That's better than the rockets. Okay, well. Guess I'm grabbing some stacks. Bring back, so I don't have to worry about coming back out here for a bit. I'll leave this hut on for right now while we tool around. That's super, by the way. Actually, you guys definitely would love to see what super has going on right now. He set this thing up, I think he had it pretty well set up in the first day, and then within the first three days he had it fully stocked. A little bit of work afterwards, I think, but that that was it. I mean like he he's he knocked out all of these villagers, everything that we could need, properly labeled, so we don't have to go hunting for stuff. 
extra storage in the middle and a, an, iron, an iron farm that pretty well cranks when it starts cooking. You know, it takes a second when we get a lot of people on. We were stocked on diamond armor in the first, I think, day, and then nephrite in two days. I, I, I love my gift. I absolutely love my gift. So before I log off, I'm going to show you right quick. This is going to be the home of my actual starter. I haven't built the starter house yet because it uses a lot of mud brick, and Jess was just finishing up her mud farm, so I wanted to uh, wait for that before I dug into it, but I'm pretty happy with my farm island so far. I've got to add a universal tree farm to it as well. It's probably going to go out somewhere in this area. I've got two bamboo farms going at the moment, but I'm going to expand this to be eight separate cells. They, they put out a decent amount of uh, bamboo themselves. I'm going to have to expand that storage here shortly. But those are just AFK. They don't use any bone meal either. Passive. This is going to be the site of Jess's library she's building for the guild. It'll be the home of our massive central storage system that Sam is designing at the moment. That'll be entirely underground, and we're going to have all of our farms connect to it, waterways or railways. This is Sam's current build he has going on at the moment. I love the pattern he's got. Just a, a beautiful layout. Excited to see what he's got going on with it. And he's got a witch farm right over here. But yeah, that's where we're at, guys. I'm excited to see what the season brings. We've got a lot of ideas for our city. We will be sprawling that this whole area and further. That is going to be my mega base right there. Starter base over there. Farms moving here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be nuts. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you like and subscribe. For uh, more Guild Rock Season 7, coming from yours truly, Dickie the Dude. Pleasure as always, people. Thank you very much. Have a great day.